you watching Triple A Backstage. We're here backstage at the Maroochee Music and Visual Arts Festival 2016 with the amazing Pop Cult. G'day guys, how are you going? What's up? Hello. You guys were lucky enough to um, open the main stage here today. Uh, how would you feel the set went? Uh, yeah, I feel like it went, uh, it went, it went really well. Uh, it was good, uh, nice and early, but you know, uh, good to start the vibe and kick it off. Especially with our uh, main man Drew over here on the uh, introduce section. Our own uh, personal uh, priest, bad man, and uh, schmoozer. That's true. I'm an official schmoozer and MC bad man. There we go. So are all your songs now just featuring Drew? Uh, essentially, yeah, 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 yeah. Drew feet pop cold, uh, essentially. I want to say three quarters of the way through the set, you guys dropped a really great cover of uh, Steal My Sunshine. Yes. Um, has that always been in your repertoire, or are you guys like we need something new for this set? Funny story, actually. We we uh, we we got it on like. Uh, three or four, maybe, f yeah, maybe three, four weeks ago, a friend of ours, Keen, was playing it uh, just as like a hype track, just to kind of be like, ah, oh, the memories, what's up? And Elliot literally walked in the door and was like, we're covering that track. And we all agreed, you know, it's one of those classics that, you know, people haven't heard in a few few years or a while, but everyone kind of knows and can really vibe to, so. And I think a few of the people in the crowd who have had a big week or so, you got everyone grooving a bit, and you guys had a hell of a good time on stage. No one wants their sunshine stolen, so, you know, everyone's willing to, uh, you know, vibe with it. And yeah, it was really cloudy as well. You brought the, you put the clouds away, yeah, the exactly. sunshine came out. The clouds at bay, sunshine comes through. Let's 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 be honest here though, because all one hit wonders deserve a resurrection, and that's in the form of maybe Len steal my sunshine, possibly Jesus Christ Himself. Everyone deserves a good resurrection, wouldn't you agree, Callum? Yeah, no, definitely, I do agree. Yeah. Are you guys on the side now going to do maybe just do some like cover band one hit wonder tap tour of Australia? Guys? Yeah, we're yeah. thinking uh, the maybe uh, Darude. maybe yeah Darude Sandstorm. Darude Sandstorm. We actually got in trouble with that. We, we suggested he was a one-hit wonder when he announced his tour of Australia. And yeah, he, he's more than just Sandstorm. So. He, yeah, well, well, yeah, well, he's, yeah, nah. Darude, if you're watching this right now, you're just Sandstorm. But we thank you for it. We really do. Thank you. And we'll get into your music now, shall we? Uh, so the music video for Gotta Keep Loving pretty much just stalks you guys around this hectic house party. First of all, what was that night like when the cameras weren't on? And secondly, is the house still standing since then? Um, actually, no. So my friend Julian, his dad's a property developer on the coast and uh, it was always going to be a demolition house. So it was kind of like really good to be able to get in on it and uh, really like... it. It was kind of perfect, you know, like we could kind of do whatever we wanted to do to do with the house and it all worked out well. Unfortunately, the house is not standing anymore. It's done and they're about to build uh, apartment blocks on it, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, well, at the end of the, the video, you guys climb up off the roof and there's a great view. <laughs> yeah, great view on the roof. Uh, unfortunately, it's gone now, but you know, maybe one day we'll climb up on the uh, existing apartment complex building and uh, relive our memories, yeah. <laughs> Listening to you guys set today, you sound even rockier and better live. Um, but I can't put my finger on who you guys kind of sound like. You got this kind of brick rock sound, but then also one of your tracks, I for some reason get a very go betweens vibe. Um, so, what made you guys want to start a band and what kind of rock are you aiming to deliver, I guess? You're asking me, are we? Uh, in the right spot? Yes, that's a good spot. Uh, yeah, a lot of Britpop, uh, Primal Scream, Stone Roses. Uh, don't tell anyone though. Um, but yeah, uh, The Lars. Uh, lots of stuff from Brisbane and Australia as well. Go Between is a good pickup because we're all massive fans, but whether we necessarily sound like them or not, I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, channeling good pop songwriting with guitars, I think is what we're aiming for, yeah. Um, and in the music video for Feels Right, you guys are having a great old dance. You kind of dressed up as like a, a, a church choir, I guess, in some way or form. Possibly a cult. Possibly. <laughs> Getting to the end of my question, okay. So, you guys are cool pop cult, you dance like church choir. Um, if you guys were to start your own religion or cult, uh, what would be its values and how would you try to increase followers, I guess? Like, what would you offer to people who are feeling lost spiritually? Solid question. Well, I think um, I, 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 I think I think personally, uh, you know, my, some people may disagree, but uh, you know, the general crux of a, you know, I think most religions or cults should be not all of them are, but should be uh, to uh, 
love your fellow man. Uh, even if you have a hard time loving your fellow man, just do it anyway because uh, at the end of the day, what else do we have in this world but uh, but love? And uh, we have it freely to, to give and uh, to give prosperously. So why, uh, why focus on the negative and, uh, uh, you know, dwell on the hatred when you can just in turn love? I think for us personally, we... Uh, we, uh, we You're loving it right now, for example. <laughs> for, for us personally, you know, like we all, we all come from uh, some, some sort of religious background, but I think we all generally have the agreement that uh, at the end of the day, it's all about love. And, uh, yeah. you know, that's what we try to kind of uh, live our lives yeah. in that direction of just loving and being love and loving on people and loving music. No matter your cult, love your cult. Love your cult. Love your cult. So trying to fit in pop cult uh, music and then love everybody. What would be like the, your, your main ritual, your main ceremonial practice for every mass, I guess? What would you guys do? Um, <laughs> um, join hands. Join hands. Uh, start a revolution, really. Yeah, revolution. just, just, join just. What, what, what once was uncomfortable, uh, touching and feeling, just everyone, just, just. Just touch, do what feels wrong, uh, until 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 it feels right, you know. Uh, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the last question we got for you guys. So we're backstage at the Marucci Visual Arts Fest. Um, there's some amazing visual art installations out of the grounds. Um, if, for those who haven't been this year, um, there's massive humanoid kind of statues. Um, if you guys were tasked to create the visual art installations for next year's festival, what would Pop Cult create? What would be your masterpiece? Inflatable flowers potentially. Um, what else is a good art installation? Maybe like a uh, maybe maybe we could go more towards like a uh, really niche and maybe a risque type art installation and maybe a maybe a maybe a burning uh, antichrist cross. That'd be pretty cool. That would be pretty heavy, but I mean like no white robes in that one. No, yeah, no white robes in that one though. Just to say, just but more so more so in in, in relevance to. Uh, kind of be like, hey, if you uh, are part of the KKK, uh, f fuck you, you guys suck. <laughs> Why would you be so mean to people? Hey, man. So you'd have it's all about very, love. You'd have a very strong message with you. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, right. definitely, definitely. Maybe some religious, you know, throw-ins here and there, but, you know, yeah. all relative to uh, now. And all about love. 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 It's always about love. Uh, you've been watching Triple A backstage with a pop cult behind it, the Mumbap 2016 festival. Mumbap. Catch you later. Thanks, Jack. Keep loving. Awesome. Oh, thanks, guys.